So a lot of times people ask us what's cooking at True Tech Tools and today it's a Testo 570. What I've got here is a pot of boiling water on the stove, distilled water, and I wanted to go over a little bit about the uh, technology in the 570 because it's pretty unique. Um, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on the instrument so you guys can see it here. I'm going to power it up. When you power up a 570, it actually goes through an um, internal configuration and it looks at the atmospheric pressure. And so when we power it up, you can see the, uh, turn on the backlight here, that we have refrigerant set as water. And it says that boiling and condensing is 209.5, not 212. And that's because we're at 1,062 feet uh, above sea level. And that changes the boiling point of water. Now, if I scroll down a screen here, I can see my two temperature probes have no temperature difference between them. And I have 0.7 degrees of superheat, no subcooling. And that's because the water's boiling. It's at a saturation temperature. And what we're seeing right here is the total uh, air of the instrument because it's, it's telling us the... The, the pressure is, uh, t you know, the boiling temperature is supposed to be 209.5, and the measured temp is uh, obviously 7 tenths of a degree, 5 tenths of a degree above that, and, um, and that's why it's showing that small amount of superheat right there. So T1 is measuring 210.6, 210.4, and then, you know, et cetera, saturation temp 209.5, and then the temperature, di temperature difference between the two probes is about 2 tenths of a degree to zero, somewhere in there. You're going to get small. Uh, changes in the water just because it's moving around and uh, and you're going to see that so that's it's not anything abnormal you can see those two temperature probes are running you know almost right on the money with each other all the time and again we have no subcooling and just a small amount of superheat on the display all right but the thing that's interesting if you take into account the fact that uh, you know the saturation temperature of water is it's not always 212 degrees and obviously the higher we go the lower that's going to go uh, if you don't take that into consideration, you're going to have a considerable amount of error in your in your uh, in your measurement, because uh, you, you know you're calibrating your your temperature based upon a uh, based upon 212, and it's really not 212. And in my case, it's 209.5. Uh, so you've got to take those things into consideration. You, you can't pressure temperature. You can't you can't calibrate pressure on its own. You can't calibrate temperature on its own. Uh, they're they're independent measurements, and and their errors will compound. So you, you have to take those things into account when you're making a measurement.